Well, let us see how we can select a, a new pump for a new drip irrigation system. See here I have taken a, a real uh, sample system in which when pumping is done, when pumping is done, say our discharge rate is say, the required discharge rate is say 2 liters per second. For discharge rate of 2 liters per second, when pumping is done, how much is the depth of water level that should be approximately estimated? So let us assume that that is 85 meters. And next thing is, we should look at where the most critical submain is. The most critical submain is one for which it is very difficult in this system to carry water to that place. Let us assume that in this system that most critical submain is at 10 meters height from the delivery of the pump. So after doing these things we should find out the total dynamic head needed to be developed by the pump. Total dynamic head to be developed by the pump. So it has few components. One is total lift. Total lift is this 85 meters. The water has to be lifted from here to the ground and also the height of the most critical submain from the field level. So this is 85 plus 10 is 95 meters. Second is control head losses. In the control head we may we will have fertigation devices and filters. Filters we may have any number of filters. Normally we will have hydrocyclone or disk filter or sand filter or combination of these things. So if you take just 5 meters at the maximum for the control head losses it is enough. 5 meters control head losses. Next is total conveyance loss, conveyance friction loss from foot wall to the start of the submin, start of the critical submin. Conveyance friction loss. How it can be calculated is only approximately we can calculate. For that, we need total length of the pipe. Total length of the pipe from foot wall to the start of the submarine. Let us assume that in this case it is 200 meters. Let us assume. It is customary to take 5% to 15% half total length of the pipe to be the conveyance friction loss. Let us assume 10%. 10 percent. 10 percent of 200 meters is 20 meters. Lastly, we have to account the pressure needed at the start of the submarine. We know that the pressure needed for dripper at the dripper is 10 meters. So we need at least more than 10 meters at the start of the submarine. Here also it is customary to take the pressure needed at the start of the submarine to be 12 meters. So submarine, submarine pressure is 12 meters. So the total dynamic head consists of all these four components. So if you add up all these components you get total dynamic head to be equal to 132 meters. Next using this 132 meters pressure head and 2 liters per second. So we need to purchase a pump which can deliver 2 liters per second at which can impart, impart also 132 meters of pressure head. So for that the formula is 9.81 QH divided by efficiency. 
so 9.81 into 2 liters per second and h is 132 meters efficiency of <coughs> of pump varies between 0.5 to 0.7 it is also customary to take lowest efficiency. Lowest efficiency if you take 0.5 and instead of 9.81, we can also assume that to be for simplicity in calculation, we can assume that to be 10, 10 into 2 into 132 divided by 0.5, you will get 5 5280 watts. So it is approximate only. So when you go to market and uh, look for purchasing the pump, how you should specify is, you should specify that you need a pump which can deliver 2 liters per second at the pressure head of 132 meters. When you purchase that kind of a pump, it, it will automatically have the power of, power of the pump will be very near to 5.2 5 kilowatts. So you don't need to uh, look for exactly 5.2 kilowatts. When you purchase for 2 liters per second, 132 meters head, it will be near 5 kilowatts or 5.2 kilowatts, whatever may be the thing, then your objective will be achieved.